Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. We'll see just how short this series is. So just a little bit of a disclaimer here. If you guys want to follow along, these are the settings up here uh, so you can follow them. Uh, it is a death world. I'm keeping the default settings of just a 75% uh, starting area. It is 200% for the enemy, I believe, which is standard. The only things I've really adjusted are uh, the resources are at 200% and we have cliffs at 200% just to give me a fighting chance. And um, basic rules. If I die, it doesn't necessarily mean the series is over, at least in this very early game. It means I will just have to start over until I succeed. Eventually, if I can get past the first maybe hour or so, if I die, we'll just end the series there. But I at least want to have the option to restart uh, from scratch so it's not just a five minute series. But let's go ahead and just uh, get started. Okay, I am nervous. All right, here we go. Ooh, I am really nervous. I'm nervous because I hate to fail and I feel like this is a series where I can definitely fail at. But I have been practicing. Um, all right. Let's grab some resources. Uh, but I'm gonna start off with putting my burner miner down, of course, onto iron. We'll place it uh, right here. That can go there. We'll power this and we'll get some trees and some stone, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, I think my early game has improved quite a bit. Those of you who have watched my early YouTube series know that I would get overcomplicated with my um, starter game but it really has come a long ways. So in terms of the enemy, uh, we have that guy that is gonna be my biggest concern. So that's why I placed that down there because it's as far away from him as possible. I'm just gonna mine a little bit of stone by hand. I think there's some rocks nearby though. I can't make a new burner miner yet, but we'll place this back down onto that. We'll, uh, oh, I can make another one already. Good. Coal into there. Coal into there and burner miner there. There we go. Three of those guys. Uh, so yeah, military is the name of the game for this series. Um, people saying I don't need help. I am a Factoria pro. Well, we'll see how true that is. I am really nervous actually. I have done a Death World series with JD, of course, but not solo before. Oh man, you guys in the comments seem to have more faith in me than I do. I appreciate that, but I am very nervous indeed. Okay, make two more of those. I am gonna put a burner miner onto stone and coal. We'll need to start coal. Maybe in fact, uh, let's do coal now because I can always farm a couple of those little rocks nearby. Uh, let's put coal as far away from those little biters over there as possible. Uh, let's just like mine one of these to get this started. There we go. So they will kiss and swap coal back and forth. We'll add more to them. Let's farm this rock. So far, we're just a couple minutes in and I haven't died yet. It is still early. Okay, stone furnaces. Can I make anything really yet? No, we just have to focus on furnaces and miners. Oh, I should have grabbed some coal. We'll use a little bit of this wood. There we go. Put another one of these down, one of those, one of these. Get the iron, okay. Can make a couple more burner miners. I'm gonna want to get to electric as soon as possible. Uh, let's do a little box for this guy. And then we'll put these remaining burner miners onto coal. There we go. I don't think this is too bad of a start already. Switch that. Okay, we now have uh, twice as many uh, coal miners. Still only 38 coal to feed my miners down here for iron. Um, how's my pollution? Oh, pollution is just fine. Not a big deal yet. Uh, okay, more miners. Well, um, I wanna get to maybe eight or 10 or so of these uh, iron miners, and then we'll also move on to uh, copper 
In fact, maybe let's just start copper. Put that right there. Put that there. There we go. Grab that. Make more furnaces. We'll grab that. And then in the meantime, we'll slowly make some science packs so that way once I get electrical power, we'll be good to go to start research. We'll want to start with 10 packs already pre-made so we can automate. Um, actually, ugh. should I start with automation or should I start with um, turrets? What do you guys think? What would you do? Let's also make some ammo. We'll make a couple more of these guys, put them onto iron. Not too shabby. Bullets first. Yes, because I am scared of the biters. <laughs> and also because I'm not like a, a pro speedrunner. So I don't know the strat apart from just be really quick and don't die. Um, let's add more of these. Expand our power production capabilities. Okay, cool. Now we have eight of... Yeah, eight of those, and I'm running out of stone. I need more, oh, let's put that into there. Put some into that. Okay, I can make a boiler. Powering that. How's my pollution cloud? Okay, it's kind of going in this diagonal direction, which is what I want. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of pipe, though, to be on the safe side. I can always throw some pipe down, you know, to block the biters if needed. We'll do a steam engine, and let's start collecting some more wood so we can make power poles. There's this little lake nearby there, which I plan on um, putting the power station near there. Twitch user 412 says you won't survive long on a death world. Well, we'll see. This is the mo <laughs> most panicked playing I've seen. Well, I'd rather, I guess, be overzealous with my panic than not panicked enough, if you know what I mean. Let's do a lab. Oh, that's right. I was going to get some wood. Don't want to take from those trees because those trees suck up the pollution from the um, area that would expand to the nearby nest. Okay, so some of you guys are saying do um, turrets. I think that is what I will do. Yeah, walls for sure. I think the order will, will be um, turrets, automation, then maybe walls or something like that. And we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. I've made, let's make a little pump. Let's put down... Oh, am I not making burner miners anymore? Let's make a couple more. Okay. Uh... Let's see, power poles. Oh, I need more copper, of course. Let's quadruple what we've been doing. Let's add some coal. I should probably add in another burner miner for uh, the stone. Need tons more coal. How's my pollution? Ooh, it's slowly eking its way over there. I'll make two more of those. Grab that. Grab my copper now. Now I can make a ton more uh, power bowls. We'll do a box. Grab the iron and then I think we can go ahead and get started with uh, my power plant. I think just one steam engine, one boiler should be fine for now. Although of course now we'll need to grab more um, coal to supply the, uh, what you call it, the power station. Still have not died. Okay. I think that's plenty of coal to get started. Let's do a little burner inserter. We're going to make our way down here. Um, we've got the pump. We've got... Oh, let's start making... Oh, we need six more of these. I'm trying to put this kind of out of the way. Oh, I need some... Uh, crap. Underground pipes. Um, a little underground. I think like that put coal in here, that there, that there. Let's cancel these. Let's make uh, undergrounds and then we can resume the automation packs. I just like the undergrounds so that I can walk between. We'll move that down. 
just a touch. And I know this, like, if I wanted to be super efficient, I wouldn't worry, be worried about that, but I just want to plan at least a little bit for the future. Okay, we'll start going this way, I guess. Back to our little starter area. Yeah, stone furnaces as a wall, that is a good idea. I should just keep making them because, of course, they can get recycled anyway once we build our smelter blocks. Um, we'll extend this down here. And then I think first thing we'll prioritize will be ammo. Oh, of course I can't. Oh, nope, I'm already like forgetting what I'm doing. Let's uh, do turrets, like I said. We'll put down the lab right here. Put in those things. I should probably build another lab. And then once we get automation, we'll put an assembler there that can make ammo for us. And then we'll make um, belts, I think. Oh gosh, that's taking so long. Let's grab more coal and keep building those stone furnaces, even if we're just using them as a wall like you guys are suggesting is a good idea. Um, all those pipes I built earlier went into my steam engine stuff, so we'll have to build more. Okay, that's a pretty good supply of coal. We'll put this down here and just split them up so it's a little bit quicker. And then, oh, I should probably build some armor. Where was that suggestion? Probably one of you guys suggested it, I'd be sure. Okay, um, I can build a little bit more ammo from scratch. We'll do that. And then the next thing I will build will be a couple turrets and we'll just divvy up the ammo, not that I have a whole lot. Let's start the automation and then we can start automating ammo as well. All right, what do you guys think? Am I doomed yet or am I doing better than you thought? Like I said, I've been practicing. Still not a speed runner by any means. Uh, build more of these. Put I'm going to put the turret down to the area closest to the biter nest that I'm most concerned about up there. Um, let's build some more pipe. Pipage. We'll put this down here. Oh, let's just borrow from there. Let's build a couple more turrets as well. And keep building. Oh, we should switch over to electric miners too. Depends on how close the ball of hate is to that nest. Yeah, it's just now extending to that nest there. I think we're gonna get some visitors here pretty soon. Oh, I should keep building science packs too. I don't have enough to get automation researched. Duh. That's the thing, it's so hard to multitask when I feel this panicked. Um, ooh, should we prior, ugh. Let's put, I'd rather, I guess, protect this area than, than the coal area, because I've got a decent amount on my person. I've got stone furnaces I can just kind of shove down somewhere, if needed, if the biters do attack sometime soon. Yeah, pollution is touching the base, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen very soon. Is it extending anywhere else? No, just that one problem area. Ah, and I need more ammo. Maybe I'll just make all of this ammo by hand. Let's just do it. I'd rather have too much ammo than not enough. And then we can use the rest of the iron plate for automation once we get it. Let's put a turret or two down here. So the priority in terms of like switching to automation with um, electricity will definitely be coal. Oh gosh, as I'm trying to put coal into that thing there. So maybe we'll just take up a ton of this by hand. Should I delete it? Uh, maybe I'll uh, downsize this just a touch. Because if we can lower the pollution and buy myself a little bit more time, that would be nice. Third wave? What do you mean third wave? Oh, bets on Poober dying. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's put these in here. We're getting close to automation. I don't think I'm doing too bad, honestly. Uh, gosh, I'm out of stone. Let's put another one of you there. Okay, yay, done. Pause. Um, next thing, uh, walls or steel? <sighs> let's do, let's do walls. 
the quicker we... Oh, shoot. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Ha-ha! <laughs> All you that didn't believe in me. <laughs> now I need to repair this. I am still in 1.0. The reason for that is because the last time I tried 1.1, a, I didn't like the fact that this little thing that is over here to the right was now on the left and it really threw me off. But B, my I used tab as my button to open uh, my inventory and when I would use it in 1.1, it wouldn't, it would open it, but it wouldn't close it. So that's why we're in 1.0 instead of 1.1. Okay, I've got plenty of ammo. Well, not plenty, but. Oh, let's start automation. What am I doing? We need to be automating ammo. Um, I think killing that biter nest is going to be a top priority. I feel like we're not going to be able to really, um, like, get a base up and running until that is destroyed, or else they're just going to keep on coming. Um, here is my ammo machine. Um, now we shall automate steel, because once we get steel, then we can get upgraded or heavy armor, and I think heavy armor is what I will need to be able to survive fighting the nest up there. And my strategy will be to um, just get a bunch of turrets made, a bunch of ammo. In fact, we're gonna make another ammo machine right here. Uh, I'll put that there. Little box. All right, now we have ammo. Let's build a couple more turrets. We need a couple more miners. And we'll put down those. We need tons of iron, of course, as you guys know. What, how many, how much does steel take? 50, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do 50 by hand. No, no, no. So let's do, let's do that there. Ammo here-ish. I'm gonna try and just, whoop, more evenly distribute the ammo. And then let's start putting down at least the miners for coal up here. Cause how's my, ugh. My pollution ball. So we're gonna convert this into electric miners over here. Let's just do a box for now. We'll delete these guys. I think I'll have plenty of coal. Well, that's actually not a whole lot, unfortunately. Let's delete that, prioritize the box, and then we'll need power. I'm gonna start from the bottom just so my power poles are in alignment because I am weird like that. Mm, let's go up like this. Go all the way up and then um, the next thing we'll start automating will be, oh, that's perfect. Uh, belts. How's my little ball now? Man, deleting those, uh, what you call it, didn't really seem to help, did it? I feel pretty good though. Maybe not 100% safe, but you know, I haven't died yet. Looks like We've gotten more kills, maybe? Okay, the thing we're definitely poorest on is iron. We'll grab some ammo, though, and then we'll start automating uh, red science, or at least partly automating red science. We'll do red science and uh, belts. That's what we'll do. So we'll have this turn into an iron gear wheel thingy like that. We can have this turn into the red science machine like that. One gear to three science to three labs. Ha. Huh. Well, I don't have enough room because of this machine. I can move it. It's fine. We'll turn this into red science. We'll move This here, like that. Put that there, put that there and there. And labs, I probably need one more lab. Copy that. And then we'll need a box. We'll just uh, manually do copper, of course, for now, because I don't have any belts quite yet, but I think the science is a priority. And then we'll delete these labs and just move them real quick. 
Mm, and we'll do like that. Okay. I don't feel like I'm doing too bad here, you guys. Let's put down, let's make some more gun turrets because we'll need them as we do like the leapfrog technique to take out that biter nest. Make more furnaces. And then belts, that's the next thing we'll automate. Yeah, not too shabby. Um, I wonder, I know there's at least two biter nests down here. Um, I don't quite want to do a radar yet because I feel like that would just aggro the biters further. What do you guys think? Do it or not do it? Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit, I didn't get fish! 